stencils and substance painter is a very widely used process. Through this process, you can easily project images, bitmap images on your meshes. So let's see in lesson 17 how we can use stencils to project texture maps or alphas or you can say a mask or any sort of bitmap on meshes. Stencil and spray. So in lesson 17, we'll see how to use stencils. Stencils are basically uh, like a projection uh, way of uh, imprinting or stamping any texture on those kind of surface which are hard to paint in any other application. Okay. So what we are going to do is that we will try to uh, do some sort of uh, like a, you can say projection over here. Okay. So uh, we'll try to bring up a sticker here. So make sure uh, you are in the middle casing. And in the middle casing, I have this new layer here where it does not have anything. So let me delete it for this time. I will make a new standard layer and call it Nirvana sticker. Okay. Now, once I have this one, what I'm going to do is that I will go in uh, the properties of my newly created layer and I will press all key and only select color so that only color is available. Now I will drag the image to uh, stencil area. Where is the stencil area? This is the stencil area. Now I will go to my project uh, shelf. And I have this Nirvana sticker here. I will take this one, drag it to the stencil. Okay. Once I am here, you will see that this is kind of blocking everything. This is what this is the basically a stencil view. So how I can view this one? I can view this with the help of the S key. If I press S S for stencil on my keyboard, so I can uh, make it bigger smaller just like this okay uh, with the right mouse button so i am creating uh, i'm pressing s key on my keyboard and then i'm pressing the right mouse button dragging up and down or left to right okay if i will press a uh, left mouse button so i can rotate it if i will press middle mouse button so i can uh, pan around so this is uh, but you have to press s on your keyboard to in order to uh, do this okay now, what I can do here is that uh, I can make, uh, I can zoom in where I want to, wherever I have to project this one. Okay. And once I'm here, uh, I can do one more thing. I can go to the display option here. And inside the dips, uh, display option, I can go to the viewport settings. And inside the viewport setting, I can uncheck hide stencil when painting. So what will happen uh, when I will start painting it, this uh, stencil will block my view. I don't want that. Okay. For example, if I click here, okay, so it is, uh, it is hidden now because I'm using this option. If this is unchecked and if I'm painting, see it is painting, but what is happening? It is still there okay this uh, stencil is blocking my view so I don't want that so what I will do I will make sure this is hidden so that's uh, I will uh, adjust this and then there is a gate a mask opacity opacity of my actual stencil I can reduce this one I can increase this one so when I am uh, painting so it will be uh, there oh sorry this is not the right one I'm changing this is camera frame I was supposed to change this one this one okay if I will increase or decrease this one, so you can see that it is changing the stencil display opacity. And this will allow me to actually uh, find the right area to uh, paint over. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let, let me close this one. Zoom out. Okay. And I will go to my uh, viewport and choose the 3D 2D. 
So this time what we can do here is that we can work on the 2D view this time. Okay. Now, where is this part? Let me uh, see where is this. Okay. Let's put this next to this uh, chevron. So if you will see in my 2D viewport, okay, I have this. Let me do one thing here. Let me hide for now this stencil. Okay. Now here is my uh, whatever you call this this chevron. Okay, and in my 2D view. So this is you can see my all UVs. So uh, Substance Painter really allow you to paint uh, on the UVs as well if you want. So what I will do, I will directly paint that on the UV instead of painting in the 3D viewport. So we can see what is going on in the 3D, but we will paint over here. I will bring back this one, okay, here. And basically we are here. I will press my S key to make it smaller a little bit. And then I can pan around and I can rotate. So this is what I'm using with my uh, mouse, sorry, yeah, my mouse. Once I'm done, okay, uh, still, I think it's too big. So let me move it here. Okay, now what I will do here is that I will start painting. And you can see how it is painting here nicely. Okay, one more thing. Uh, I think I have to change my brush. So I will go to the uh, brushes here. Let me close this one because I'm using the screw brush from the last uh, tutorial. Oh my God, what am I doing? So I will go to the brush here. I will type here basic. That's why I was saying what the hell is going on. Oh, sorry about swearing. I, I, I don't usually swell, I swear, but I don't know why I did that. So now I will choose this uh, hard brush and I'm good to go. Now I will go back to my project. Okay, I will take this drag it to my stencil now i'm oh uh, i think i can do yeah now it's working good now you can see that this is how i can draw over here okay but you can see this is black and white uh but don't worry about that it's just the test run what i'm doing what we are doing over here and other thing what you can do here is that suppose i want uh like suppose i want one more copy of it so i can go a little bit down here Okay, I will press the S key to change uh, rotation of it, the size of it. Now, if I will increase the size of it a little bit bigger, more, my brush. Okay, and uh, you can also use uh, square brackets left and right to change the size of your brush, or you can use control and right click my mouse and do that. So, uh, both ways. Now I can stamp it. Instead of painting, I can just press my mouse button and it will stamp. And you can see that how it is stamped. Now I can go anywhere else and then, you know, I can again uh, press S key and rotate on the other side. Stamp again. Now I can go to the other. Okay. And then keep on doing that. So, so just like that. Okay. So this is how you can make several of it. And once you are done, you can just press this button to uh, finish this one now let's close this uh, 2d view okay and let's go to 3d only and you can see we have here the stencils okay this is how we can do our stuff here okay so this is how with the help of stencils you can create anything on your surface especially those surfaces on which it's a little hard to put the materials on in any other application okay so I hope you guys have understood about the stencils now. So uh, keep trying different kinds of stencils, uh, like stencils. But for this project, I don't want this, so I will uh, delete this. Okay, uh, because we have a uh, more a uh, couple of classes to go and to continue with this. So guys, take care and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to yet yet. And click on the bell icon and please watch all my videos from beginning to the end. There are a lot of important things that I will cover. And also, uh, don't forget uh, to watch my videos online. To don't download this and keep supporting me, keep encouraging me so I can bring up some new, more tutorials again and again and again, on and on again, and continue the whole thing. 
but I need all your support. I need subscriber. I need number of views. I need likes. I need comments. So guys, please help me with that. And God bless you. Take care. And I'll meet you in the next class. Bye, everyone.